Larry and I and Don Manketti lived together uh, in the winter of 1952 to 53. And uh, the first semester, uh, we had lots of parties and had uh, big poker games up in our apartment and went to Kansas City to the Majestic Steakhouse and places like that. And uh, uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, no, I didn't know Larry was going to get married. Larry and Ramona were going to get married. And until after it happened. But he was your roommate, right? Yeah. But he didn't. Now, Men Kitty may have known, but I didn't know. And, uh, so what happened to your housing? You had went from three, two roommates to one then, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> he found a guy, Chipetti, <laughs> another, another guy from Pittsburgh, <laughs> and he moved in, and, and I found a guy from our fraternity that was looking for a house, and so we had four over there. <laughs> now tell me about the poker tournaments. and Well, what poker tournament? It was poker games. All right. Would you bring in some big fish from Kansas City, or how, how would you make, how would you uh, get... Money? Oh, they just traded money around, you now, know. Now and, tell me uh, about this Carl Schraub that... Well, Carl Schraub had a friend uh, by the name of John Gates who lived in Kansas City, and uh, he had multiple cirrhosis and was in a wheelchair. And his family were very prominent people in Kansas City. And they had a black chauffeur and houseman, and he he drove John Gates to football games and 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 to our house, you know, and we played poker and and carried him up the stairs in a wheelchair, and we drank lots of booze and did lots of laughing, and 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 when John passed out at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> His chauffeur would take him down the stairs and load him in the car and take him back home. <laughs> but uh, no, we had a lot of fun. Now we, uh, I met Vic, Ramona's sister, I mean Ramona's brother, that year. And he and I ran around a little together. And, uh, and then where'd you go to work? Well, I went to graduate school. Went to Wyoming, went to graduate school. Got my master's out there and then went to work for Tonico. My first assignment was Durango, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I met my wife. <laughs> oh boy, you never looked back since, have you? No. Her, uh, mother, her mother brought me home from the laundry. Is that right? That's right. You know, they, they ran a big commercial steam laundry and dry cleaning plant. And she worked out on the front desk. And one day I made the mistake of bringing in a sport coat to have it cleaned, and it had a rosary in it. Is that right? And she, I went in to get my sport coat, and she said, Oh my, I found your rosary. And by the way, <laughs> I have a daughter who's just graduating from college at the University of New Mexico. And, and wouldn't you like to meet her? And, you know, what do you say? <laughs> do you have a picture? <laughs> That's an interesting story. I've not, I've not heard that. Yeah. And uh, you probably had zero prospects at that time? Oh, no. I was dating lots of girls. <laughs> <laughs> I always oh, dated lots of this girls. This is when truth is now being separated from fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the only one I was serious Of course. Of course. Well, that was... All right. Let me... Let me think. 